Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Minhaju Salikin, the part of the wafer Today we are chapter Proofing the private part Stinja And the etiquette of fastening the call of nature If one enters the bedroom You should enter with the left foot first And say Bismillah Allahumma inni awadzuk min al-khubti wal-kabai In the name of Allah In the name of Allah Allah is sick refuge with you from the unclean and the filth. All this yani, hadith which says that yani, you should start by your rights or you should end up by your rights. Anything that starts by the right you should do by your rights, except on eating the food, then it's daif. Sheikh yani, Mustafa al Adawi said say, say that. Said all these uh, atars of studying by right uh, is daif. Am I eating by, by, your, by the food in by your hand? That's not if. When he exits the bathroom, he does, he does so with the right foot and says, Ufranaka Allahumma Allah, Alhamdulillah, did Ahab Adahab Anni Ada Wafani. Ufranaka Alhamdulillah, I am. You forgive all praise be to Allah who removed, removed from me that which was harmful and restored me to soundness. When sitting to relieve himself, he should lean on his left leg and set his right, 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 and set his right leg upright. He should cover himself with a wall or something similar when answering the call of nature, an open area. He should go away as far as possible. So it's not permissible for a person to relieve himself in the following areas: roadways, place where people sit, under fruit-bearing trees. Or anywhere that, anywhere that can cause people harm. He should neither face the cabin or place his back to it where, where, while relieving himself. The Prophet said, إِذَا أَنْتُمُ الْغَائِدِ إِذَا تِتُمُ الْغَائِدِ فَلَا تَسْتَقْبِلُ الْكِبْلَ بِغَائِدِ وَلَا بُولْ وَلَا تَسْدَبِرُوهَا وَلَكِنْ شَرِّفُوا أَوْ غَرِّبُوا أَيْنَ أَمْ When you defecate, neither face the Qibla nor turn your backs towards it. But face towards the east or the west. When he finishes relieving himself, he should perform his tijmar with three stones or any other similar matter that cleans the area. If the, even if the if the if the, if he doesn't have water, perform his tinja with water. It is a thing to restrict oneself to one of them only. However, istijmar is not to be performed with the dung or bones, since the Prophet forbid using them. I hear that it is given in uh, sanctity. Removing impurities and the impure substance. It is sufficient to wash the impurities of the body and the clothing, such as stains or anything similar, until the impure substance finishes from the contaminated area. This is because the lawgiver has not stipulated a certain number of washing. To remove the impurity, except for the impurity of a dog, which is stipulated that the contaminated area be washed seven times, with one of them being with dirt and with sand, as they in the grid in the grid upon hadith. Concerning physical impure things, there are human urine, human feces, blood, though a slight amount of blood is pardoned, for example, blood that is shed from an edible animal, including that which remains in the meat or the veins since it is pure. Any yani blood. The blood is not just that it comes from the woman's uh, private part. And, uh, but the blood that comes from a person who is injuring, that one is not yani. That's not just. Even if yani, you injure yourself, even if you bleed and it falls on your body, you don't have to yani. It's not just. If you wash it, you wash it. But it's not just. If you it's not just. Yeah. Because the Sahabas used to pray, well, they, were, they, they, had, uh, they had wounds. It was, it was burnt, it was blood. I used to play. They used to pray now. And uh, so the blood that is not just here is the blood that the devil was for. The, the blood that comes up for when you slaughter an animal. That one is, uh, is not just. I know. The and feces of every animal whose consumption is forbidden. Every carnivorous animal is impure. The dead except for human corpses, animals of liquid substance, fish and locusts which are all pure. Allah says, Hurimata alaykum al-maytatu wa dammu wa lahma al-khinzir 
ومهر لغير الله به فالمنخنقات والموقودات والمترديات والنتيهات وما كلا سبو سبو إلا ما دكيت وما دبه على نسبه على نسبه وأن تكس وأن تستقسم بالأزلام ذلك فسق اليوم أيس الذين كفروا من دينكم فلا تكشهم وأكشوني اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتمت عليكم نعمتي ورديت لكم إسلام دينا فمن ترى في مقمصة غير متجانف متجانف آليتين فإن الله هو الرحيم Forbidden to you are dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, an animal over which any uh, any name other than Allah's has been invoked before slaughtering, or strangled, or killed by a violent blow, or a headlong fall, or god or savaged by a beast of prey, unless you are able to slaughter it before its death, or what is sacrificed on idolatrous altars, and that you seek decision that you seek decision through divining arrows. All that is sinful. This day, the believers, the disbelievers, yani, have lost all hope of, of your religion. So do not fear them, but fear me. This day, I have perfected religion for you, completed my blessing upon you, and I have chosen for you Islam as religion. But if anyone is forced by severe anger with no inclination to commit sin, will find that Allah is most forgiven, most merciful. The, the Messenger of Allah said, المؤمن لا يلا ينجسه حيا ولا ميتا. The believer is not impure, whether alive or dead. يعني المؤمن لا ينجس حيا ولا ميتا. He also said, أهلت لنا ميتان ودمان. فأما الميتان فأما الميتتان فالجراد والهود وأما وأما الدمان فالتاهل والكبد. فماذا for you are two types of dead and two types of blood. As for the two dead they are locust and fish and as for the two bloods they are the spleen and liver. As for the feces and urine of animals whose consumption is permitted then it is pure. As for human semen money is pure because the prophet will wash the sticky semen and a scratch of the dried semen. Concerning the urine of a male infant, Prophet will not wash it. Uh, Prophet then did not command to it to be washed, but Yani, uh, Aisha said that Yani, she used to uh, rub it, not to wash it. But if you wash it, it is better. So, you know. so Yani, the Prophet will wash the sticky semen and scratch of the dried semen. Uh, this one, I don't know any of the law says that. But yani the Prophet, yani the many, uh, Aisha will rub it, you know. Concerning the urine of a male infant who has not yet consumed solid fuels, it is enough to spring water over it, as the Prophet said. Yuxal min bowl in the jariya, wa yurashu min bowl il ulam, wash away the urine of an infant girl, and spring water over the urine of an infant boy. If the impurity is removed, the object becomes pure and is not affected by the remaining color or order of that impurity. It's because the Prophet said to Halwa bin Tiyasa regarding menstruation blood, Yakfi kalma wa yadurka atharuhu. The water is sufficient for you to remove it and there is no harm in the remaining stain. <laughs>